Okay, um, welcome to the um, what month is it now? Um, March. That's right, March is the uh, Coo Town Council planning meeting. Uh, and I welcome all councillors and uh, colleagues to the meeting. Can we start with item one then to receive apologies for us? I don't have any. None. No, no. Item two to note declarations of members' interest as the agenda has been sent out. Have any other interest of the uh, applications? If not, then I shall move on to confirm. Um, can we confirm the minutes of the meeting held on the 13th of February? Oh, no. We have a second there. Oh, okay. okay with that then. Oh, yeah. That's all of that, yeah. I just saw that then. Item four, public participation. Have we had any non letters or positive comments from the members of the public? So, if, 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 if you allow me, we have a guest from Cheshire East and Mini Holland presentation. Can we move that from 8.2 to that bit now? Is that okay, colleague? Okay. Then. Hoping that that's turned on. <laughs> 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 um, before we start, in case um, you don't know who we are, um, my name is Fred, so I'm working at the Cheshire East. I'm Richard Dibber, I'm head of transport park in Cheshire East. Um, so, talking to you today about the Mini Holland Feasibility Study, um, came in January committee meeting and gave you a briefing about what we were doing at, at the time. This is now sort of what we found out and um, we got the consultation. So, given that we've only got a little bit of time, I'll sort of whiz through the, the first bit. And um, basically, we're one of 19 local authorities. Um, to get funding for this, and the Mini Holland is all about the place next week, <coughs> making somewhere a nice place for people to live and to work. So that's the area that we started looking at, um, and we were inviting comments from members of the public, um, and on that particular map, those dots, you can see where people have made comments. <coughs> um, I think we've mentioned previously, Crew is a really good place for this kind of scheme. Um, we've got lots of other investment going on in the area. We've already got schemes looking at connectivity between the train station and the town centre. It's an ideal place for active travel, for people to walk and to cycle. It's relatively flat. And I think many of you here know about the historic levels of cycling that used to be in the town centre. And our aim is to reawaken that level of cycling. Um, so when I was here at the January meeting, um, we were part way through that process um, doing the stakeholder workshops. And then on the 21st of January, we had a site visit, which I think um, some of the councillors might have been able to attend. Um, we're now at the point where we're pulling together all of that information and looking at what happens next. So, a bit of a summary of some of that engagement. Um, I think one of the things that's really worth pointing out on there is we've got over 50% of people made negative comments about as part of the study. Should say it's not a negative about the idea of having a mini Holland. We wanted to know what people thought of their area which means that 52% of people said negative things about where they live. And that basically means we've got an opportunity to try and make things better. Um, we analysed all sorts of different data, um, looking at the types of people that live there, or the population density, the number of people that live there, 
and what the provision is in terms of road network and active travel. And we also looked at some of the journeys, so particular things that we looked at with the schools. We've got postcode data um, for the pupils and we were able to make connections um, from those sorts of journeys. We also looked at uh, road collision data. And another important one, all about the placemaking, is access to green space. So, what we've ended up with, and I wish I'm very clear on that, the next few slides will show a little bit more detail. We've basically got three areas or three packages that we're looking at. So, we've got Eddleston Road, Kingsway area, and the Ruskin Road corridor. Show a bit more detail. Sorry, sorry, first, just, just to make it clear, we started off with a very wide study area, which was the first map we showed. All of the evidence we brought together and the consultation, we've zoomed in, right? So we decided to focus in if, if there is anywhere in that area which is suited to this type of treatment in the home. We zoomed into the area that Claire's going to talk about, which is essentially um, a part of crew between sort of Eddleston Road and going westwards to sort of Gainsborough Road. Um, basically, on that first map, top right hand part of the map is where we decided it's best to focus. And I think the other thing that's worth pointing out at the moment is these are ideas <coughs> that have been put forward and they're very much not something that are going to be implemented at any point soon. And these are proposals, we want to discuss them, we'll, we need to get additional funding if we're going to go that way. Um, and before, you know, these are the ideas that the data is sort of suggested. We still need to get buy-in from all relevant stakeholders before we get any further with, you know, their ideas, they're not um, definite. So, for Edelston Road, um, you all know it's the main road, there's over 6,000 vehicles a day that use that route. And um, we've got residential and um, retail purposes on that road. The Proposals that we've looked at, I know it's not very clear on that map, um, to see, but it's about making it better for pedestrians and cyclists. So looking at side road treatments so that you end up with a continuous footway, basically using the highway code as it is today, where pedestrians get priority. And that's what we've been looking for to do on all of those side roads. And um, we've also, um, Associated with that, we've got to make sure that we can safely cross that road, busy road, so it's putting in some additional crossing points. Um, mentioned the whole point of uh, Mini Holland is about placemaking, so it's things like having um, planting and seating, all those things that make people want to stop in an area. Um, we, there is a potential for a modal filter. Is something that would stop vehicles using a particular route. Um, but that one is absolutely subject to the study. Um, Sorry. Yeah. So when you say vehicles using that route, from where? Because obviously there's nothing at the top end of those road, but there's obviously there's a lot of docks with the extended footway yeah. from like Union Street onwards. So where would vehicles be allowed to go to on that map? Sorry. There's, there's no. There's no intention of stopping vehicles using the most road, right? So, I was going to say, 6,000 vehicles a day, where they expect them to go? Yeah. road, it remains open to traffic, including buses. So, the, the, main, the main sort of opportunity is, as Claire said, on the, on the footpaths on either side of the Elston Road, we look to provide those continuously across the side roads. <coughs> That means that drivers are forced to stop back a little bit. You can, you know, imagine someone pushing a buggy, 
which we call the Union. Because I, I saw, I can't remember where it was, but I saw a pavement that carried on across the road. Yeah, sure. it's, so basically, exactly. that's indicating that the pedestrian has the priorities. Right. 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 Yeah. There's all sorts of different yeah. designs, but yeah. that is the basic premise that the book pack continues. Yeah. So, yeah. To, to answer the uh, to answer the gentleman's question there, there's an opportunity, and you'll see this in a couple of the later slides as well. People familiar with that area will recognise there's, there's a lot of traffic that cuts through side roads, you know, particularly rat running is the term yeah. that tends to get used. Yeah. yeah. And people cut through, particularly if there's queues on Nantwich Road, they cut through the residential streets and the back lane. So the one that's shown on there is Stallbridge Road, right? And that we've noticed that that's used quite regularly as a as a cut through. Mm. Uh, by traffic that doesn't really belong in that area. It's it's just finding a way through to town or maybe through to, to Lidl or somewhere like that. So uh, that's the one that's highlighted, Councillor. Stallbridge Road, Union Road would potentially be a site where you, you want to limit that uh, use of traffic. So what traffic would be allowed to <laughs> Anyone who lived there, right? So what what we mean is some examples of players use the use the jug and the mobile filter, right? What that basically means is uh, you you stop the road, or you cut the road off for through traffic, right? At one end. So anyone who lives there, it effectively becomes a cul-de-sac, right? Pedestrians can still obviously get out at both ends. Cyclists, people with prams can, mm -hmm. right? But if you're driving, that short section of road becomes a dead end, right? It becomes a cul de sac, and it, it means that only traffic that is going to the properties in that section of the street gets there, right? There's no through traffic. And is this what they call low traffic vehicle? It's a form of that. Yeah, and there's, there's lots of confusion flying around, and I'm trying to, you know, yeah. I'm trying to get into it because I've had a lot of people say, "Oh, you know, with these 15 minute cities and everything," and it's, you know, yeah. I think it's a lot of misinformation around. It, yes, there is. I think there's lots of different terminology. I think what we're looking at in particular is about making it. It's that place making, making yes. it somewhere that people want to walk, cycle, live, work, and. If that's about making the environment more suitable for those people, that's what we're trying to do. And um, I imagine a lot of the things that you see in the press are very anti-motorist, and that is not what this scheme is about. It's not, it's not what we're proposing. The, the, way, the way I will try and clarify it is we, we have no intention that that area that was on the, the first the first map that the area we focused in on. There's no intention to designate that area of low traffic. Right. Area, right. There are still roads through there that will principally be there to carry traffic. Now, Eddleston Road is an example, Nantwich Road is an example. Right. We're going to move on to a slide about um, a, a cut through corridor in the next couple of slides that we'll have an interesting conversation about. The funding opportunity here is very much under the banner of Mini Hollands, right? And so it's it's sort of street design treatments that yes, they manage traffic, but they also improve places, particularly green spaces, little pocket parks and things in the mix. And uh, that's that's the funding opportunity we, uh, we're trying to explore. Let's be very clear, because I've had a number of letters come to the office about this. What are we not doing, right? We're not moving in any way towards a scheme that would introduce charges for motorists to drive through the area, right? Uh, and if I go to some of the more extreme things that are going around on social media, other places are, right? So yeah, you, you can go on the internet, and you can look at Oxford City Council, and they are looking at a, a form of road charging for the city that 
has various bits of traffic engineering to, to make it work. This is not what we're talking about for crew. We're talking about traffic management measures um, that will make, make it possible for traffic to use the most appropriate roads in the area and encourage it to avoid using the route routes that put extra traffic on residential streets. That, that's the way I'm trying to summarise it. So how would you, you say you're encouraging it, but how would that how would that happen? Right. So, so you're talking about Storbridge Road, yeah. not only cars that have got right buzz that live there to go there. How would that be a physical curve? Like what what would stop cars doing it? When you say encourage it, it's like it's, it's okay asking them, but how would no, you no, stop them? You put some engineering council. So there's, there's some examples already of, of some of the side roads that go on to Nantwich Road. You, you would literally put a string of bollards across the road at one point, yeah? And that's how you create a, you know, you create it to a cool design. And clearly we, we've got to, we've got to pick the roads that have a lot of through traffic or rap running traffic on a street where it shouldn't really be. And we've also got to pick roads that are wide enough to allow people to turn at the end of the road you know there's enough there's enough space to turn around and you're not going to get traps because we can't we can't trap anybody so um you know we, we've tried to identify those at a very early stage storage or union street or one two that come out but could i just say that my understanding of this is to make it's better and a happier environment for the residents of that particular area. Absolutely. So, for example, I would want to stop the rat run where it would start, which would be an to show, because there's an awful lot of people in that area that use Storbridge Road to get out legitimately. And one thing I wouldn't want would Storbridge Road to be a cul de sac, not get through. No. So you need to stop the rat room because it uses, whether it be Walthall, Westminster or Brooklyn, into there for resource. Yeah. And equally, what we could just say about the Union Street, one of the problems that we have, getting back to our humble abodes in this area, is that if we come from uh, Worcester St. Road, to the lights that uh, the Duke of Bridge Road, we can't do a right turn into Everton Road. So we have to go into Mill Street. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the best route to get then into Ellison and Storbridge and Brooklyn, in my case, is a safest route, which yeah. is Albany, uh, sorry, which is Union Street, because it's yellow up in the main, there's not many cars out on it. You take the other two further down, there's lots of cars on it. So Whilst uh, you know there's good intentions, there's reasons why Union Street is quite busy, and I guess since we've got a little, yeah. it's more so. So it's because we can't use mostly, yeah. or sorry, if we can't turn right and, and over the bridge. And, and if we could, you, you know, you worked it that roundabout there, we could actually do it. That that would take traffic away from mostly. Because what we don't want to do is go onto the main roads, do we? I don't want to go to Antwerp. If you shut Strawberry Road off, I'm always going to go onto an Amtrak show, then I'm going to have to come down the and the So these are just observations from saying this. It's the kind of thing that we would be looking at in the next round of um, any consultation and any study to try and pick out that kind of information. And please, what we're talking to you about tonight, this is just asking you to bear in mind that we are still at the end of the first feasibility stage. So we haven't got the perfect solution by any means. <coughs> what the feasibility has done is it's, it's identified the issues and it's led us to suggest there are three priority areas to look if we were going to design a really hard scheme here. One of those areas is Everest Road. For some of the reasons we've discussed, and Claire will take you on to the other two. Uh, again, really for the reasons we've picked, them, rather than maybe some detailed solutions that are on the, on the list so far. 
That's exactly, you know, if there is a problem with one of the existing terms, then the solution is to move forward. The solution is let's, let's look at promoting some operating restrictions in that area as well. Well, mm -hmm. there's already parking issues on that corner, so we don't have to park on the pavement. So if they've got free space, they will use it if it's not involved. Oh, uh, yeah, just quickly, I had the privilege of this uh, presentation before. Um, so I remember <coughs> that by the time you get to the end of it, you reassure that this is just we're putting in a bid for some government that's <coughs> available in order to be have any possibility of getting any money from this government. Mm -hmm. We're we're trying to jump through their hoops. But there is absolutely no decisions made on, on how we would actually implement this. And at that stage, I would be reassured that we would be the stakeholders. We could then go into the detail of it. And you're just going to try to find examples to give us. And, yes. and they're triggering in us all, but that will cause this problem. Yeah. That problem yeah. not. We can deal with that later. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, oh, they are, at, at the moment, their ideas. Mm -hmm. And there's no way mm -hmm. that would not set in stone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we've got the uh, Kingsway area. Um, as you know, lots of schools in the area. We've also got um, South Cheshire College. Um, so some of the things that we're looking at are things called junction type names. Um, I think we've got some images at the end. Um, if you want to circulate the Slides afterwards, so that then we can look at those examples. Um, it's basically about slowing vehicles down if we make it that cars have actually got to turn rather than just a, a smooth turn into the road. Um, we've got um, things about speed bumps on there. Again, it's all about slowing vehicles down, making the, the journey speeds more appropriate to those that we're talking about. We've also got the idea of having some additional uh, pedestrian and cycle crossings. Um, we've mentioned Nantwich Road, saying about improving the um, cycle lanes that are on there, upgrading them um, from advisory to something that's more permanent. Um, and something that came up from the schools, the Oaks Academy, and later the primary, the idea of having a school street where you restrict um, vehicles that school drop off and pick up time. What is the sign you It's to do with the, the shape yeah, of the hull. Um, oh, you've, you've already got one now to try. Yeah. It's, it's a hull that has an S-shaped curve. Oh. So it's the best shape for actually a smooth Travel over, over, which people over. use as a general crossing? They do, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a big device. Yeah. Is that something that you use in the middle of the way of the travel I believe so, but I'd have to check. Okay, and then the final package we've got is the Buskin Road corridor, um, which Richard mentioned about. The idea of people taking an alternative route 
rather than Edelston Road. And it seems from the data that we collected that they're coming off Mantridge Road, using Ruskin Road, and then um, Alton Street and Flag Lane. And um, so some of the, we've got several little dots on there. Again, they're all ideas, they're not definite proposal. It would be very unlikely that we would do all of those measures. And um, so, let's look what we've got. So, Flag Lane is trying to tie in with uh, the Flag Lane Baths. Again, that place making feel to it. Um, the possibility of restricting through traffic there. Um, because it is one of the routes that vehicles seem to take when they're um, bypassing Edelston Road. To be honest with you, if I want to, from where I live, if I want to get to Madrid Road, I know I go down that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 yeah, no, yeah, the quickest point, the quickest mm. you need to get to the road where you go, to go down to that lane. I think it's the most That's that way, yeah. not a push by, yeah. don't you think? If I go down there, there's a small mm. road that's the kind of thing that we're looking yeah. at. It's the vehicles that are doing that journey. Local yeah. knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which the, that's the shortest point from, if you like, West Street to Nantwich Road. That's the shortest it could be. Yes. If I may, members, uh, I apologise if this is okay, Chair. This is a briefing session and there's going to be much more structured consultation to come. And this is very much more some ideas and some bits and pieces. I'm more than happy. Uh, happy to collate any questions. I know we've got a very long and detailed set of planning yes. applications. Sorry. It's not your fault, and it's not anyone's fault. And I wonder, Chair, if we might uh, just plan to go through the slides and maybe have one or two quick questions at the end of that, and then uh, any collated questions at the end of that, if that's okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. What's the um, So, mentioned about potential closure on Flag Lane to try and stop that. Ruskin Road and um, Frag Lane cut through. Um, Alton Street is the East West Link. We're trying to link that in with another project, the uh, Valley Brook Corridor. Um, and it's about trying, that has got lower flows of traffic. So it's trying to move people rather than being on Alton Street using Worcester Road. Um, so the proposal that's about that restriction on Flag Lane. More of the place making, so pocket parks and um, more greening, and um, trying to get vehicles to use Worcester Road as a, the alternative to Alton Street. And um, we've also got a proposal of a bus gate between Flag Lane and Ruskin Road. And um, mentioned about the junction tightening to help reduce um, the speeds to make the vehicle speeds more appropriate for those sorts of residential roads. Um, and another school street near, I can't remember the name of the primary school that's on Gaines, it's Gainsborough Primary, is it? Oh, it's said on, yes. It's very confused yes. because we moved yes. from Edwardston Yes, Road. I do remember yeah. the name. Yeah. And so it's about putting a school street on there again. So the potential benefits is about that place making, making it a much nicer place to be, improving access to green space. And um, it complements the other schemes that we've got going on in the area, such as Valley Brook and the Mill Street Corridor Lincoln Station to the town centre. And um, the whole idea is about making walking and cycling and public transport a more natural choice rather than jumping in the car every time. And um, it's obviously investment into one of the more deprived areas of the group. And it's about trying to get those vehicles onto the more appropriate roads, or rather taking them away from the inappropriate roads. And the analysis that we've done seems to suggest that the proposals we've got uh, represent high or even very high value for money. And um, so this is where we don't know what's going to happen as we get further into this process. We've got to do the technical assessment, so building on the, the comments that you've made about Union Street and Stalbridge. 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 
Um, we've also got to do public engagement to make sure that the community is actually on board with these ideas. Um, we do need to do um, a full assessment and we'd also need to do an equalities assessment before um, we got got as far as building. So the next steps, the report's going into Active Travel England, which is um, an arm of the Department of Transport, that's going by the end of this month. And then there's got to be a decision on whether this fee should be taken forwards. Um, and then, at a later date, we will be able, if it's agreed, we will be applying for funding. Um, and then it's all the follow-on um, consultation and analysis to work out exactly what might be done. Um, can, can I just try and just sum up what the opportunities here probably the ways for uh, I, I'm acutely aware, Chair, you were on the walk about a few weekends uh, So we, we're one of a small number of councils that are been in a position to do the feasibility study down to maybe not 19 across the whole country. Um, from the evidence we've brought together, there is, part, there is an area here that has all the characteristics necessary to make the case for the right? uh, I mean, we believe we've got the evidence to do that. We've also done engagement over quite a prolonged period, at a high level of involvement in that, uh, compared to a lot of the work that's done in the room. And so I think we can genuinely make the case that from the evidence we have, there is general support from residents, stakeholders, and so far for the concept all of that is subject to a lot more detailed consultation and design and <coughs> We can put our feasibility scheme for into government at the end of the months and do that in one of two ways. We can put it in as effectively a contractual obligation and say, there you go, we've done the work, that's what you paid us for, over to you. Or we can also put it in as a bit of an advocacy document and say we believe there's a really strong argument for you to invest in crew to do this type of work, right? And I'm tempted to suggest we wish to do the latter. Right? We'd like to use the document as an advocacy to try and get them. If they're going to spend some serious money on mini Holland's somewhere in England, why not spend it in crew? Because we think there's a basis for it. Um, that's really why we brought this briefing to, to get a view of the uh, town council. With accepting that there's a lot more detailed work and a lot more community involvement to actually design the scheme, it would, would the committee be supportive of using the feasibility study as an advocacy? Or are you sat in a period of purda yeah. and the committee can't come to any new decisions other than those associated with the, with the planning items? I'm really sorry. So I'm going to veto the answer to that question. <laughs> I apologise. We would have a stronger, I, I, I will okay. say this, I, I understand. You haven't been chased out the door, I think is a positive. We, we, we would have a stronger uh, submission if in due course there is planning in town. Can't get that in I appreciate that. But, yeah. um, I think if, if there's a way Peter's feeding back after the meeting whether um, uh, there's any particular reservation, any strong feeling on that would be helpful. I'm happy to commit the following meeting. I'll share the presentation with all members and I'll see if they respond with any comments or questions. I'll have you collate that. And give a pricey to you how I how I've interpreted all that. Um, and this time, unfortunately, we are restricted no, under, under that government. I apologise. Yeah. So, well, well, one quick point. Go on, man. It's just when you've already mentioned in the private area, 
not to leave that comes on pre tax today. That area, but the Emerson Road area, I'm not high gate to play because people on the run on foot, police can get over and just disappear. Mm -hmm. So, where are you going to block roads up? Could you please be consulted to make sure that that area is at the same yeah. 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 We can't make just, just to be really mm -hmm. clear. We have to make a legal order to close the road to three traffic. Yeah. We cannot make a legal order for the police on the So, they're statutory constituted. We have to take that. Uh, just one very quick one. Um, sorry, from a resident I spoke to recently, wheelchair user, mobility scooter user, goes up and down there all the time. And the problem is the, the drainage of the pavement is a problem. But it's a true, it's a Victorian aspect. Oh, the, the channels, the channels yeah. yes. Yeah, those were noted. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go through them, but the slides have got some photos of different examples of the measures that could be included. Um, and there's a few more slides with some other examples on it as well. Um, you need to take a look at after this meeting. If you don't mind, I will look Thank you. 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 Crack on because we've got 21, at least 21 applications plus that have come since this year. So the first one then is 230727, erection of two sets, two semi detached properties in the rear extension to number 179 Alton Street. And it's a renewal of planning permission that was given on the 19th, uh, sorry, application 190339. For those who were on the planning committee, a number of years back, um, I remember this coming several times, and eventually they said it was okay. It's just time of that now. It's the same plans, other than there's an extension to 179. And if you remember, uh, I think they had a um, uh, deputation of, of uh, neighbours on this particular site, uh, sensitive. Uh, but it's the same, it's the same as, and we did make comment, I think it was about care fire, like this way, the different usual things. So I don't know where, where you want to guide that, would you want the same sort of comments? Mm -hmm. Marilyn, I know it's in your world. Um, I, I expect everybody else has probably had a look at it and everything. I'm looking <coughs> forward to coming to this meeting to, to try and decide what I can possibly say about it because there's so much I've been bombarded by information from members of the public because it's in mine in Connor Smith's ward <coughs> and um, Connor's actually called it in for it to be heard at a planning meeting rather than by an officer but I don't know if that, that's going to be agreed so we'll, we'll wait and see on the planning meeting it would go to a certain plan would be after the election wouldn't that? Um, so we've got an opportunity tonight to uh, come up with some things and I know that a um, particular resident has been copying Clark into to, to a, a lot of um, information that they've been putting forward. It's quite complex isn't it? Or hopefully you've, you've well, it, I think the chair <laughs> made, <laughs> they, they made a fair representation that it's an application that is effectively for renewal, having previously been approved. Yeah. However, there is strong feeling against it. It's how members feel they want to represent that. Um, observation, observations I've made in advance are that the proposals are um, in keeping with the design of the rest of the street and a reasonable scale for the site. However, they are a distinct change of use of that site, which has previously been, as I understand it, a market garden for a very long time. And so it's a green space that uh, has been sat there. There are um, issues that have been raised or concerns might be more accurate by residents that access as um, defined within the access statement of the application isn't um, in place because it's a private owned access. Um, the, it could be argued that proposals don't meet plan authority's policy associated with minimum parking provision as they don't provide two parking spaces minimum each. 
there is on the street parking issues that already exist in, in the site. Um, Cheshire East recently, the highways response to plan application 230231 n cited the negative impact on neighbouring residences due to increased on street parking. A different location in the town, but it's still um, considered to be relevant. Um, and that is what I've observed. Now, there are lots of observations by residents. Um, it's whether they have a plan policy context or not is possibly to be argued by the time as well than me. When I looked at these plans, the park, the gardens were quite long. Yeah. Go it's, somebody say, it's somebody saying that it's not in the parking space. I'm sure it's parking space. It goes back a long way, but they also go to the roof and the bottom yes. that gets flooded. Yeah, yeah. It it, it, in the history of this site, when we've looked at the plans through the years, is that they wanted to actually build uh, uh, houses or apartments in, in the garden as well. Mm. And there was, there, there was comments from those about access to that, but yeah. clearly it's in a floodplain. So, you can, mm. so what they came up with eventually, which got passed, even though there was lots of objections from, from the neighbours, and we objected on other grounds of what what you just said there. Uh, and and then it's just it's just put the same plans in, isn't it? It's just time yeah. lapse effectively. So I don't see us being able to say anything different than what we said last time, we might be able to add to it. But I certainly don't think we can say yeah. I mean it, it is in keeping. Yeah, then uh, from a personal view, other than that, fairly so nice design. It's that, still got issues regarding access to the back and so on. So that red line is that where it floods up to? Yeah, that's considered a, a flood yeah. risk area. Yeah. But I looked, it's I looked at the original plans, and like you said, they don't look any different than they do the original plans four years prior. Well, it would be three years. So it's three years in there that it gets the last in. It's three years to start the project. Mm -hmm. And obviously it hasn't done. But, but, but that particular design was passed, uh, and I think it was passed their planning. If you read planning, no one's by offices. Can you confirm that, probably? <coughs> I think it's been passed. So that actually has been passed, but it's just a maybe COVID, whatever, I don't know. That's not the us to defend that. It's to say, it's a we're looking at, at my, my view, we're looking at the very same thing and we made some objections to do with parking and so on and so forth. I don't think it's a bit of a bunch of quite indifferent. Well, that's a... I agree. I mean, I clearly, clearly the, the issue about the, the number of parking spaces is an issue. Yes. We just need to highlight it. Um, but if it was passed before, there's no real reason why change of use at that area can still go ahead then in, with the time lapsed then you know if, if, if there's far more properties in the area then you could argue that that should be kept as a green space but been passed yeah yeah right, that's the thing but the, well it's lapsed hasn't it so actually it has got, that's why it's got to come back it has come back for that reason yeah but it's exactly the same yeah Still well, it's actually yeah, the, the house in one seven nine is an extension. Of it, but that, that's the difference. That's been added. I don't know where that makes. I think somebody makes the one that they were quite relaxed about that, which is that. So really, what, what, what do we want to say that we would object on these grounds of numbers of parking spaces? Well, oh, it's it's a common practice in this committee to object to the lack of parking in what is a high density population. Population area, and there are on street parking issues. Uh, I'm not saying you have to, but it wouldn't be sustainable as a position. I think it's quite sustainable. Um, other than that, I, the designs I don't think can be argued. They're in scale, and it's they're actually quite good quality accommodation in the town centre. Not the town centre, mm -hmm. in, in the more density part of the land street. I don't think the front of the houses look similar to the rest of the you had it very lucky. It disappeared. Over the doorways, over those doorways, they don't look the same as the houses. I apologize. I didn't mean them to be identical, but the, with the bay window features, 
Yeah, you can see here, and the double windows on the first floor. Yeah. Um, the alignment of the doors, they're all relatively, although I haven't measured them in keeping. The exact, the exact way lintels and corbels are done, I honestly couldn't comment on that. Don't look anything like the doorways and the Well, we have had recent applications where they just put boxes in place, which have been far more detrimental to the streets. That looks like a traditional terrace house, but yeah. might not be identical to the one that's going to be next door. This would look like a traditional terrace house. This one won't look anything like the one next door. Maybe mm -hmm. quite, might be slightly slippery. See straight away the front door doesn't like the last on the house. Like, in that, in that. I mean, it, it's been reviewed once. Um, right, what we're going to say then? I'm a live job. Yeah, you want to pose in a second, chair? Um, yeah. I just wanted to make a, a um, couple of observations. I mean, there are there, there seem to me to be issues that have been highlighted by residents that I'm not sure if we were aware of before. As we say, we were repeating our previous objections. Did it cover the access issue? You just, you just I, I, I have covered that in that in some of the, the the concept of the access statement includes access for deliveries and works down the the track as identified on there. See where the mouse is. However, it's referenced in some of those comments that track is privately owned and access may not be available. Yes, that's not. So, I haven't gone through the land registry and double checked all that, but yeah. that's that's something that I've referenced yeah. in in my notes as defined access within the access statement is not confirmed as deliverable due to the independently declared private ownership. Yes. Um, if if that isn't included in our previous concerns, I'm wondering if that and. I mean, the actual issue of the fact that because of those parking spaces at the, at the front of the houses, you'll have to drive in. I mean, how you, you couldn't, you've either got to stop in the middle of the road and try and reverse into your parking spot, or you're likely to drive in and then reverse out. And one of the objections from members of the public was about the fact that it's a school route, it's a children's playground. Right next to it, virtually, sort of thing. And that pavement where children are walking along, you don't want cars reversing out. Um, and in that particular part of the road, it's near a bend as well. Um, so they've said, oh, other, other houses in, in the street reverse out, but they're not on a bend and closer to the playground. The issue with the bend argument, realistically, though, is, is if you're on the inside of a bend, your vision display is restricted because, mm -hmm. of vision, because the road goes away from it. If you're on the apex of a bend, as that is, you've actually got a greater vision display of what's coming towards you. Mm -hmm. and, that. and that's referenced to some documents in that. That is a normal statement. So I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying that there's a, it, it, because it's on that apex side, not the the uh, no, I think that's that's fine. I think, home is I think we need to get this in perspective now. We need to say about the bend because further up on the other side, they do reverse out. Because mm. whilst the gentleman who lives opposite, he can move, he does a lot of objecting, he can move in and turn down to come out, so he's fine. But those what I call cottages mm -hmm. that are along, yes. they can only go and they have to reverse out. But yeah. they are on the straight, so you could argue that's still dangerous for pedestrians. Mm -hmm. But that is on a bend, and I think that might yeah. be. It's increasing you, that's an observation. the likelihood of the isn't it? It's increasing <laughs> the danger. <laughs> of the the highway closes, you should be bursting for a car park in space and not drive out or reverse out onto a road. Oh, right. So. Yeah. It's a narrow road and it's a bus route, you know. And, uh, anyway, let's not get it on. Yeah. It's probably not it is now, it is a fast road. Yes, yeah, and it's a map run. So we say we're objecting on the same plus the evidence about accessing and so on and so forth. Yeah, no second. We'll catch you there.
So next one, 230287, the erection of a single story rear extension, Newfield Drive. Uh, I don't know if anyone wants to see it. It's a single story rear extension, yeah. no great significance. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's on a decent sized plot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we yeah. yeah. Okay. Next one then. Uh, unit 4, Phoenix Park. I this is an um, application for minor external alterations. This is the uh, tack old bell that uh, seems to be getting everybody sal salivating. <laughs> um, but it's, it is what it is now, there's the old piece of place and they want to change it. Mm. Yes. Yeah. 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 My suggest is that they ought to do um, have a EV park, you know, charges yeah. and all the rest of it. I don't see anything there that they ought to do. No, I mean, uh, basically, there was a lot of support for it from Very sure. residents, wasn't there? There was, yeah. Um, and then it was just the comments about perhaps we should be having a few more electric parking spaces, I which I agree with. So I think we, should I think we just put that in. Yeah. 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 But I, but I suggest we also maybe reflect the comments that the environmental protection officer associated with the um, runoff. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. Yeah. Next one. Change of use from offices 230105. Change of use from offices to self contained flats. Right. Seven Chester Street. And I note today that we've written in, in, online some new plans. Yes. And remove the old ones, which is disappointing. And I don't know what the difference right. this, this is a. <coughs> yeah. That's it, yeah. Oh, yeah. Start Chester Street. Yeah, yeah. yeah Chester Street. Yeah, okay. All, all, all of it, up yeah. to the pipe wrap. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't include the pipe wrap. No, no, that's a single story. Yeah. Yeah. It's like number 33 is on Market Street, isn't it? That's and right. And then there's yes, one, three, and five, part of the development, and then number seven is pipe wrap. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, right. So where's one, three, and five then? In between. Between Rafi Street, yes. which is a the, Yes, that the used Anyway, there's some new plans come. Um, the old plans, there was comments from various people and um, suggesting that they were um, too generous in some. It is, in effect, six self-contained bed sits. Um, over the, where the ground floor is commercial use um, and the other two over two floors, first and second floor, three, three beds, it's a floor. Just waiting for the stuff to load up, sorry. <coughs> so realistically, that's the ground floor, not very exciting, just, um, just an open ground floor. The That's the only door then, isn't it, to, to all? Well, no, there's a corner door on Market Street. Oh, yeah, 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 it's just sort of on the corner of the shop. Oh, I see, yeah, next to the shop. Mm. Yes. Yes, there's a funny little door down Chester Street in between a couple of the shops, and that's the staircase leading up to Red Six. Must be two staircases. It's the only five about fire escape. There's only one staircase. Yes, that takes take you down to Chester Street. Oh. And, uh, and because I have been told that the uh, number 33 is going to be a remaining restaurant, so the people cooking in the kitchen and then, you know, people in the bar. Which was good hours of sandwich bar, wasn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. If they oh, need okay. us, um, to think about the fire risk, I suppose. There's only one exit from the, what will be the bed sits above. Who's going to know fire risk? No. no. So what, what's altered no. then? 
I can't. I can't text. I can't see the old plans. I can't memorize them, unfortunately. So. Mm -hmm. Change inside and then building. No, the building doesn't change. change. It's the same. It's the same. Um, it's the same floor plans effectively because it's six, um, six units across two floors. So the do you want me to read out my notes? Would that help? Yeah, please do because I'm, I'm slightly confused with the change and we're not really seeing what we have. No, well, um, the, the town council service officer has submitted. Um, a response which you can bring up on the screen if you want. Uh, um, whilst you have a look at that, I'll just read out some notes I've made on it. Uh, I'll scroll down when you're ready. Um, I, I would suggest that the committee might welcome investment in the building, which is significant disrepair. It is a building in a sensitive heritage setting and design, and all considerations for how she should be insured. When you're ready, can you scroll down? Um, the concerns I would have uh, the proposed room and residence dimensions don't meet minimum technical housing standards yet to be adopted by Cheshire's, but this failing should not impact on the quality of accommodation delivered by, for the residents of crew. The proposals do not provide waste storage away from the public realm, contrary to Cheshire's local plan strategy policy SE 1.4.4. The risk of on street waste will lead to loss of amenity for existing residents nearby and risk. Of to public health issues due to the encouragement of learning. The proposals do not provide adequate access for those with mobility issues due to the cramped designs for living accommodation, contrary to Cheshire's local plan strategy policy SE 145. The development constitutes overland of the site and creates an HMO by default. The development does not meet local plan policies, does not provide for secure and adequate cycle storage. No residential mix is demonstrated, contrary to Cheshire's local plan strategy policy SC4. The proposals should be considered under a heritage setting within the local plan policy SD114 and SC7. There is no external amenity space associated with the proposals, which further impacts the low quality and high density design of the proposals, contrary to Cheshire's local plan strategy policies SD121 and SC142. Development is more than 500 metres from outdoor amenity space, contrary to Cheshire's local plan strategy table 9.1. And also, sorry, I forgot, no fire escape. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, oh, I could see there's, no, there's, there's no a yard attached to the No area. outdoor space. No, none whatsoever. And I asked the lady in the flight back, she's remaining there, staying there, renting it. I said, well, where do you put your rubbish? And she said, oh, you support will have to take it home with it. <laughs> so I was all right in the, in the pipe rack. There's yeah. nothing messy, isn't yeah. there? So in the pipe. Yeah, there's a fair bit of tobacco. Yeah. But there are three retail units, yeah. possibly, yeah. and a restaurant. So where's the yeah. place going to go? So there's no identity for There's zero outdoor space. Yeah. Mm. Well, I'm sort of we object to that on the grounds of I'm not going to repeat it. What Pete just said, yeah. along with no fire restraint. Yeah, because yeah. he took the words out of your mouth, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Well, to, yeah. to be fair, he emailed the words to me earlier. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just, just, is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Just on the heritage, where yeah. it says that we should, I, mean, I know it's not adopted, but it's suggesting we should keep beaches in and out. Well, I noticed that tonight when I was coming down, most of the windows are wide open and it was be gutting in some way. Yes, they're, they're already working on the yes, site. I know they I've seen them coming and going doing the work. Yeah. The work has begun. Yes. This is a we want to pull that to the people. Is that okay? So we 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 yeah. we're yeah. So right, let's move on. Now this is a confusion. Twenty two yeah. three seven two seven. I don't think should be there. No, it's my admin error, I apologise. Oh right. I it's, it's already been to the yeah. 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 I don't I don't know how I dropped that in, I couldn't say I don't know how it's just <laughs> Just but it, re it was refused on your recommendation, then. Oh, well. <laughs> well, that's on your level. Right, next one 230508. Proposed hit the gable and single story rear extension for extra living space, 47 Knowles Avenue. Um, it's a suitable site for <coughs> keeping and of scale. I can bring it up if you want, but it was a reasonable application. No oh, objections from any residents. You're okay with that, Marley. It's your board. I'm very, very happy that a resident in Merrill's Avenue is going to have a positive result, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I've got uh, enough positive. big issues to attend, uh, yeah. attend with part of the lesson. Thank you, Marley. 
Next one then, 230524. Change of use of existing garages to allow storage of build material, uh, etc. Uh, 7 Newton Street, which is again next to the school, university school. I, um, I can bring it up, but it's, it's not it's anything not. dodgy, it's just removing some yeah. subdivision of those and making it more useful for that's for their new purposes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Next one then. Uh, 230610, single story rear extension with addition of a porch to the side aspect, 51 Carlisle Street. Same again, it's a, it's not, not overdevelopment, it's, it's, it's in keeping with the scale of the site. No, no one locally seems to have an issue with it. Okay. I think that's what we need to look at. 230625, a proposed annex, 98 days below. Seems to be. Uh, I mean, this one's interesting because the, the neighbours are commenting already about how it's been, the house has been extended. Yeah, I think it's So I think it's just basically they use the site. Yeah. It says annex, it looks like an extra living to her. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we look at the next one. Taking down a summer house. I just ordered it. I'm looking at the little bedroom. Yeah, this is, this is the annex. Yeah, it's also separate from the house. I'll give it a side plan. I'm sorry, I might have helped as well. To be, to be fair, it's bigger than those flats in Chester. Street, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's probably reasonable for accommodation. But if you like that, so then. Yeah. This is the. Uh, the this is Jada wrote it and when, when I looked at it and I thought that that could be ideal to put that to right. so accommodation for somebody. Yeah. yeah. It, it's 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 a long plot, there's no issue there at all. Um there is an external thing here which I've had a look it looks like a garage really. And there is an extension on it. But this is uh, an existing shed or summer house, and then this is the new uh, proposal here, right on the boundary with that property there, and you see the garden actually extends across four or five different mm -hmm. properties at the back. Um, so it's and the design is clear that it's for overnight accommodation. Um, there's no question about that, and it seems entirely independent accommodation. With oops, sorry, I've done that. With um, living room, kitchenette, bedroom. Some storage like a border or something, and then uh, an ensuite. It's it's That's independent living accommodation. Um, it, it, it's away from the primary dwelling, and in fact, I think you could argue, as I just says, it's uh, over on the site. Um, risk loss of immediate to neighbouring properties due to noise and intrusion related to additional secondary living accommodation on the boundary and behind other people's gardens and immediate space. Um, An over occupancy of the site will lead to loss of meeting for neighbouring residences due to further on street parking and increasing waste and noise. It's a very big lunch, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Does anybody want to add anything? I was just wondering, I was just going to look at it because I'm just wondering about parking as well. Because if they're adding to that, then there should be more parking space. Good point. Well, I'll, I'll get it up on screen with this computer text ages. Just yeah, bear one I'm second. Just, I mean, it's got a long drive to it, I think. I'm just trying to look to see what they say they're doing because they're just calling it an annex. Mm -hmm. Are they, where, a bit where he's, you say, are you taking away bedrooms or adding bedrooms? Have they talked about the fact that they're adding a bedroom? Is that just an annex? So, you know, it's interesting. So, but I've got a caravan on the drive. Oh, I'm like, it's a big sign. It is a big sign. It's a big sign. Yeah. Oh, yes, I know. Oh, right. Oh, yes. I mean, it's like there is. Yeah, yeah. 
I must admit, oh, uh, I don't know, can't remember where exactly it was, but years ago when I was looking to buy, I looked at a house on Gainsborough Road that had, it had, it had been used as um, like a hostel or something. And um, it was the actual house. And then you went out the back door and then there was another door into a separate living bit with a kitchen and a bathroom. And I looked at that because I thought the teenage son younger got in there, you know. Right. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not the only place. It's on the back. There is another property mm -hmm. on the gate of the road. It's got something yeah. like that. Oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Quite a bit. Mm -hmm. but, but they want to move the people out of the caravan into this building. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I, I don't think so. Okay, yeah. So, are you what? What are the planning regulations to do with turning what the moment is a summer oh, house nice. into a viable separate well, uh, accommodation? It would. It, that's that's uh, planning policy and interpretation of. So, mm -hmm. based on that, I, mm -hmm. I am suggesting to you that that would be um, excessive to have another secondary accommodation yes, back yeah. on, close yeah. to lots of other back gardens yes. and the disturbance that could cause. Yeah. Um, that would be my personal concern. Yeah. And so we're on the policy associated with um, mm -hmm. and meeting with the residents. Mm -hmm. but in terms of on street parking, it's not going to be that much issue because of a massive drive. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Well, I'll have that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'll take the parking off because yeah. I know the neighbours. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, then, next one then. 23.06.84. One point eight eight high black fence, <laughs> Mac on way, and it's network there, which was the total fitness. Does anyone object to one point eight? It's just just it's it's just basic fencing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, 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 Okay then, 230707. Mm -hmm. And this one's reasonable as well. Right. Is that, that, that was my perspective on it, yeah. In, in scale with it, it's just slightly bigger than, than permitted, yeah. level, but it's not excessive. <coughs> and it mirrors what they've got next door, I think, isn't it? So, yeah. Right. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Next one then, 230539, which is Long last with East and, and um, Plenty of permission for several units and warehousing and so on and so forth. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was, it was appropriate, but I wondered if you might want to be um, consistent in your general approach of commenting on net biodiversity gain, sustainable energy production, cycle parking, and EV charging points. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. On our list of things we've put in there. Right, next one then, 23 old. 518. Replace boundary fence and water tank sprinkler system mm -hmm. for Dunelm Mill, mm -hmm. which is a hard guess. Yeah. It is, you may have noticed behind some of the large zinc, well, it's probably not zinc, galvanized steel um, tank, and that's, that's that, and then move it over the other side of their delivery yard. It's, uh, it's, been, there, it's been there a long time, and I think it may well be that the interior is not standard. It's more to do with the fact that Cheshire used to build in the south, um, southern gateway thing to the side here. And, uh, and, and the compulsory purchase of that land. So that's got to move. Well, it is got to move, and that's got to move. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's, it's shooting it's ourselves in the foot. Yeah. 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 There, yeah. there is, well, yes, yeah, so, all. <laughs> there is just one, which is my little niggle. I apologise. You can totally ignore it. It's yeah. a tiny little thing. But there's a red brick wall that runs behind yeah. it. And it's an original railway feature. Uh -huh. yeah. Now it's an it's an awful red brick wall. It has no nice finials or features or high class brickwork to it or anything like that. But um, I spoke to the chair and so, uh, wondered how we how we mention that. And you don't want to necessarily stop a development of it. But I want uh, the chair came with the idea that um, we should seek uh, that it's properly recorded at least. Uh -huh. it's, it, It'd be hard to argue to, to stop a development based on the state of that wall. Mm. It's not, it, it yes. looks in worse condition than Hayden's wall and less attractive. Mm. Um, so it's, uh, it, it's, it's up to you, but I'm sorry to throw that fly into you, but it is an original yes. railway feature. Yes, as long as they repair it. 
And now they have to knock it back on the left. Oh, the left. Yeah. 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 Actually, so we it, the original, down, break, 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 move it, move it. original railway feature should be recorded. Recorded, yeah. That's a chair's idea, not much. It will be of the original work. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The bricks may well have been made in the old work. Can they take it? Well, that would have been a representation. Well, can they use some of the bricks on the railway? Yeah. Mount up or mount up somewhere. I wonder I don't mean look no, no, I, don't, I, don't. I, I wonder what I will have to, to if it's too strong now, and maybe some phrasing that the sequence properly recorded and for any purposes possible. Aspects are retained and used in any development. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm glad I thought of that. There we go, we're going on death. Yeah. Is that a, if they've got yeah. yeah. another brick wall, there's no reason why they can't. Well, even if it's not necessarily a brick wall, if they use it as a feature in that area, with the, you know. Yeah. You can't build something there that's out of brick, then there's no reason why they can't use those bricks. If they have to, if there's not enough. For them to use that, uh, you can always get some second hand bricks and do it, of course, and make it yeah. nice. If it took more of the pot, make more of it, and then rebuild them all. You still have, you still have the original brick there, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. You probably built that. So we're going to put that in. Right? Words of that effect. Well, yeah. words of that effect, yeah. There's no way you can uh, call you, maybe, because I'm not. <laughs> Not that well educated. There's, there's nothing uh, unusual when that them taking pictures. And, I mean, mm. unfortunately, we've probably got more pictures of things that have gone one away. Yeah. Yes. And they say, well, that used to be there, and they, and they took yeah. the pictures, you know. So there's nothing <laughs> unusual if they said, this is recorded and this was the, if you like, the perimeter <laughs> wall of yeah. the old works that went on. Yeah. So I don't think that. I'm not sure the editor's obviously oh, yeah. with the words. So can we can we capture yeah. that without getting the airs running about a war? Yeah, yeah. 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 So this particular yeah. time of the year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But nevertheless, yeah. no, it's not. Oh, it it nevertheless, they have a big opportunity now. Oh yes. Okay, thank you. So we're we're happy with it moving uh, yeah. the, the tank because it's got a roll. And I'm happy to do whatever we can. Okay. Do whatever we can. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. Sorry, sir. I'm saying to be rusty, but I am. 230802, external alterations to the southeast and northeast elevations of the railway exchange, Western Road. Has anybody looked at that? It's, it's, I would imagine it's improving at no end. It, it seems to, yeah, it's, it's, it's added value and it's, it's refurbishment work and it's not sensitive as, as far as I can recognise. Yeah. Yeah, is that okay? Okay, yes. move on. Yeah. Um, existing, uh, 230773, existing plan to replace with new, 17 Victoria Centre, which will leave it as new. It's as the, yeah, and it's yeah. effectively. Sorry, I haven't got lost. In the oh, page. Yeah, what got. page are we on? We're now on 2304, the top family. We've just skim. Oh, yes. We've just, just done that. We've just done that. This is yeah. You said it so quickly. This was, yeah, it was as as good as it was. Oh, we've got a cat. I've had it on 35. It's not a cat. It's on the roof of Aspen. 20 pounds. Right, so it's yeah, something no. to do with the. the, the Victor, I'm still on the Victoria Centre. Oh, you'll be yeah, on. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Twenty-three-oh-four-oh-eight. Right. Proposed okay. new canopy structure to provide a larger covered unloading area for Bentley Moses. Mm -hmm. Does I anybody? I don't think we need to object to a canopy. Mm -hmm. I, I looked at it and I can't. I, 
23-08-61. Listed building consent to repair yeah. damage, high level decorative cobalt masonry and removal of destructive vegetation yeah. growing from the wall face to the flat walls along yeah. platforms 8, 10 and 11 at Coo Station. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a positive. Who did? The bees. Oh, the bees. Have we got a bee policy? Have we got a B policy? I don't. I'm not aware of a B policy. No, we've got. This is this is this repairs. Council adopt one. We 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 adopted the two clean team. Yeah. When he presented us with environmental yeah biodiversity protocols yeah. Is there anything we want to refer to in that? I, I am okay. afraid that I don't think there is, but no. you, you and members must feel free. I think repairs to the building structure in the cobbles and yeah. such is required. Sometimes self-setting buddies may get in, but yeah. they can they're they're readily available elsewhere in the town. Okay. We've got sandstone cobbles up there in the cobbles. What they want to do is put new ones. Yeah. So I mean if there is grade one, you know. Yeah. There, is, yeah. there is a bit of bridge. If you get disturbed, then you'll go somewhere. If anybody wants to go to the next station, you won't go far. I can get them some seeds and they can plant them. Okay. Plant some seeds. Well, what my take on this is that is I welcome a leader change workers wanting to, yeah. to, to, to protect so and really maintain so do I, those I buildings that yes. are original yeah. buildings for the first station. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. So I think we should. It's the key words to me there are the removal of the <coughs> Right. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. if we need to put some big things in the in the in the loft, then let's go for it. But I think we need to get rid of. I'll get my wife to plant some more oriox. But I think to me, the radio change. I didn't know it was a radio change. Yeah. Okay. No, I, 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 I would have thought it would have been network. Oh, that. Yeah. That. Yeah. Yeah. You that. Thank you. 230899, Insta proposing to install two rapid electric vehicle charging stations within the car park of McDonald's crew yeah. in Dunwoody Way. Mm -hmm. Well, that'll make, it, that'll make it two more than we've already got. The uh, Morrison's have got two, so that'll make it two more. And there'll be two at Taco Bell's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two I mean, they will. Charge your car while you're getting out of it. <laughs> when you're getting through the arteries. Right. <laughs> 230313. I, I assume that's okay, Colin. Yes. yes. 230313. Due to an increase in pupil numbers, we're proposing to extend the school hall. And storage areas to meet increasing demands of the school, which would down the school. And no, I've got no comments. No, 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 Okay. Uh, item six to consider making responses to any urgent plan application consultation of this since this agenda is published. And the first one is 230971 variation of condition to approve plans and force specification of source each pump on the removal of 221957. It's effectively a ecologist great to provision of air source heat pumps and is not in any way sensitive to any architectural value or social issues. Yes, yeah, okay. Yes. Next one, 230964, variation of condition two and three of application 220640, upgrades to facade of P35 Molder building 
including application of new rain screen cladding and the section of a living wall. Yeah, we had this before. Now the bees are like the living wall. Yeah, real way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, it, when the, the original application came through, we supported it. it there was some consideration around the heritage setting that was in, but that was all resolved by Ben. They dealt with that very nicely with the support of our heritage officer. And this is just a slight amendments, but equally improvements with the uh, the rain screen and the living wall. Is this um, building then on all the comments that the heritage officer made about that particular? In the in this previous incarnation, yes. Well, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's great. Well. Right, twenty three oh nine three oh proposal to change use of existing store into a vaccination centre for COVID jack. That is the old public toilet in past the public conveniences in the yeah. Goddard Street. I've been in there and I've been called for Chabby, but it's cold. One, two, three, four. It's got a cold like that. 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 It was because Holder Centre bought it and then they gutted it and then used it as a sto as storage unit. But then because the the shop, somebody yes. had the bright idea. Oh, we'll, we'll let the stores you know, and we'll use it. Oh, it's, well, it's just four brick walls and a concrete yeah. floor. Yes. Is that close next to the bike shop? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's all yeah. 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 where we had this call. We found the call. Yeah. 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 Well, it was originally yes. the public yes. enjoyers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. When, when they. Have loads of public communities yeah. dotted around the town. Right. Yeah. Almost yeah. yeah. well, convenient to do that. Right. So we're okay with that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. Excellent. Next one. Twenty-two three six three six. Propose one bedroom flat ground and first floor removal of existing garage slash storeroom three eight three Westwood. Now this was the uh, battery shop. Cheshire Baxters. Yes, Opposite Barnabas Church. Barnabas Church. Mm -hmm. And it's a street with nothing on. And they've got the north end of Old Cook Avenue. So the, the, the house runs along the street. Really short door I've looked, it comes through today, I've looked, and I've looked at it today. Yeah. It's quite a big, it's quite a big house. Yeah. Um, it's obviously somebody of note lived in there recently. Right, what we can see from this site plan is, again, it's occupying the full site. This is it, so it's 383 West Street. Um, Bowen Cook Street, it's Avenue, it's an up street. Um, it, this, this aspect at the end is a flat roof store extension. So there's no external space. Again, it's built to the um, red line demise premises. You want to see this one first, really. A bit light, it comes alive. Right, so it's this is what exists um, down that side street there. And uh, that's the roll shifter door. It's a flat roof. Extension obviously used as some sort of store, and the proposal. Oops, wrong one. And the proposal is that's that's where it was. It's turned into a pitch roof um, dwelling. It catches up. There we go. With a downstairs um, bathroom and kitchen living room. There's a little kitchenette. Steps up to uh, a single like that. Double bedroom, decent sized bedroom up here. Um, and indicate some sort of storeroom here, and I would presume that, that is shared with the shop, so I'm not entirely clear how that would work out. But that is the full extent of it. Um, it's entering onto that side street, um, which is Bowen Cook Avenue. Um, I don't think I perceive <coughs> well, there's no external need space at all. No bin storage, no cycle storage, no parking. Um, it, as if the full site is already built on, um, I'll consider additional building on it as over on the site. 
Uh, and so that's those are my observations on it. No, no parking, no bridge storage, no cycle parking storage, sorry. Um, and as the full size already develops, then adding to that, I suggest that might be a space taken away of a community space, isn't it? It's not. It's not. Even, it's not open space. It's just it's then closed yes. store sheds. Yes. That's yes. all it is. Yeah. They're going to build up with. Um, yes. Yes. Up yeah. from it, but yeah. The alleys behind are gated. There's um, no guard. There's no guard, and there's no. Mm. And just so straight onto this. Onto the, well, we would have to object, wouldn't we, because of yeah. the bins? Because you yeah. can't encourage them to put them on the street. I think you're entirely. Entirely in a position to object to it on on yeah. those sorts you know, of grounds. Because bins, bikes. The amenity space, parking, mm -hmm. over on the site, I suggest those are good reasons to consider it as not an appropriate application. But that one, it should be knocking it down, should it? That's not Burton creating a yard. Mm -hmm. Like rack and bin school. Somewhere dry clothes in the nice days. Yeah. Okay, so what is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Then is there any more? And that's it. Uh, okay. Item seven, to no Sorry, responses. I did note one, but I might be completely wrong. 2248 Because what I do is go through all the emails that you sent. What's that one? It's the Bombardier one. Yeah. Isn't that last one? Bombardier is putting those last one. No, that was a, that was a note that tells me it's a strategic plan. Yeah, oh, that's okay. it. That's okay. I just whizzed through them. Yeah, that's right. That was on that was on the agenda for last month's meeting. Yeah, and it, it confused us because it, it, as near as you can say, it's finished that side. Yeah, uh, from where the plant. Oh, it was that one. So we yes. made a comment. Yeah, and, yeah. and that's that it. that note yeah. there was it's going to sustain that planning and yeah. yeah. Somebody has asked me. Why the, the contract is the left side, but still left the fence on? Because there's no word that we can have there. No, well, we've been doing well around it, you know, see what was going on. And there's just that, just that one bit, one with the, the central sort of shed, shed space. We thought it was going to be. There, there, there seems to be some road finishes needed. Yes. So that, that's going to be done. The fencing on the front needs to be finished. Yeah, the west bit. Is that where the green space is going to be as well? I'll gather so. Yeah, right. Well, we guess that. Yeah. yeah. No, it's on the plan. So well, I, mean, I, haven't, that, that I haven't been. I haven't been round it, so quite I've been meaning to go round and have a look to see why. Because somebody asked me why it isn't finished. If it's going to be strategic planning, then I can. Yeah, we're we'll asking those questions, aren't we? Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can just tell them then it's going back to the border. That's it. Pretty good. It's been mentioned No. Okay, let's go on then. Uh, anything somewhere under delegations? No. Nope. Uh, eight. To note and consider correspondence, consultation, planning policy, circulated by the planning authority. Okay, well, this is circulated by the planning authority, which is a pre-application pre consultation. So, Clark Telecom <coughs> contacted us to say, this is where we'd like to put a telecoms mast. That's the... Uh, that's confused me because originally when they built that estate, somebody decided that that roundabout shouldn't be the way it is and it's got to be rebuilt again and redesigned. Now, if that's the case, what's the point of sticking mass there if somebody's got to <coughs> it and redesign that roundabout? I'm, I'm not aware of any plans to move that roundabout. No, but I'm only. Yeah. The, the, 
if you like, it's rumours that somebody well, said that, 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 well, that it shouldn't have been built that way, it should have been built another way, well, and then yeah, when you finish, well, you've got to be turned around the back. If we shouldn't get into rumours, no. well, what happened? What they did the roundabout, and then they found that they couldn't get lorries down the without yeah. managing and, 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 yeah. and so then they therefore changed it, and then so one of the roads can't access it, has to go down. It's a real, it's not, it's not ideal, yes. but the, the, obviously, you know, telecommunication, you've got to, if there's a strip of land anywhere, they want to, they want to do it. And I, I, I couldn't find where this was on my iPad. And I said to him, where is it? And he said, well, it's actually a feature for the, the middle of the roundabout. It's, so, well, that's it's not appropriate. It's not the, the old Skoda Cardies where they come yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. That's what they want to put up as one of them, and it, yeah. it'll be white, and it'll be however oh, many meters tall. It and is. a load of boxes. It'll be three boxes. Exactly. But it's for 5G, isn't it? I don't care what it's for. Yeah. The, the point being is it's in the middle of a roundabout where you need your wits about it because well, it's five it. or six. Well, the, your boxes yeah. are going to be about this tall. Yeah, and I use that roundabout a lot uh, because I go to Broadway a lot. And, 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 and often, yeah. if, if I can, may make an observation about roundabout, there's been quite a kerfuffle recently about a roundabout at the, at the Mornfleet, yes. where you were aggressive yeah. there. And there was a feature that, yes. that somebody put on there and it was, no, it was, it was slammed before it was finished. Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, well, they shouldn't do it this time, do it. Now, I'm so, oh, what my view is, is that we shouldn't be putting a series of boxes, usually three boxes, plus a mast in the middle of the land. Mm -hmm. When you're well, talking I mean, about the main access. I mean, yeah. main access. Is this a no, it's no, it's three. Um, it's in three. It's three. It's uh, you know the mobile phone company. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's them. It's them the one put all these massive grids. Yeah. So that we can have five G on the phone. Yeah. Well, it, this this isn't an application yet. This is a pre-application yeah. consultation. So they've sent this to us as a pre-application consultation. Um, and I say they, it's Clark Telecom who's done if it, it, not. If it's going there where well, that hammer's put you know, that's fine. Well, then it might be, because it's not a formal response, we can respond to say it's not a supported location. Yep. Um, chair. Sorry, Mark. Please, through the chair. Um, as it's just been brought to our attention uh, that it, it's a free application. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've been consulted. I think that we ought to make one comment at this stage. Yes, but if somebody doesn't object, yeah, then No, it's a free application. Yeah, anyway. It will have to come back as a planning application, won't it? It will, but the, the purpose of pre application is to try and iron out any issues to say you should object go, go against yeah, it. So you, yes. can, you can express well, an opinion. Express concern, concern about its location. About safety and motorists yeah. being distracted. Exactly yeah. right. And yeah. it's not so a position that would be yeah. feel supported at this stage or worse that effect. We can, we can definitely say all sorts of things, but we're not committed to anything because it's just no. a free application consultation. Okay. Personally, I don't see why we can't say no. We can never say no. No, but we're being consulted. Yes, yeah, so no. Mm. Well, there's um, no reason why we can't, we can't uh, object on the reason that um, that's what we ought to talk somebody to do. Uh, we're, we're like um, putting, we're, we're preempting ourselves, you know, we've got to get ahead of ourselves if we start objecting to what this stage is pre application. We can give them feedback. It's well, helpful to give them feedback that we've got concerns about certain mm -hmm. things rather than close the door. And say, oh, well, yeah, the door, because is, we, we've got it will come back to us for us to consider, consider again. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll express concerns, and it doesn't seem like it's in a supported location for the yeah. just mm -hmm. stated. Yeah. Is that what we're going with? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, we've done 8.2. 8 8.3. Cheshire East Road Naming Consultation. 
Oh, right. Sorry. Yes, these are the associated roads um, as part of the Northwest Crew Package. Um, the plan that was circulated to you, the road tires in yellow, green, and these street names can be applied for here. So, yeah. so yeah, any any names that you want to apply to the roads that were circulated, um, it's, it's, up, it's up to you if you've got any suggestions. It's, they're out by Smithy Lane, Mitchell New Road, Flowers Lane, up that side of town. Um, then we don't have a, a stock of names to give them, as far as I'm aware. Yeah. Sorry, don't miss. I've been going off to, uh, on about this for quite a number of years now. Uh, and one name that I'd like to be put on is, is Mike Russell, um, who obviously was a counsellor. He was a well-respected uh, teacher. I believe he was at Russell School. Um, and I personally think that for what he did for this town, uh, I, I think he should be honoured by giving him a road, road name. And I would like to think that uh, we would approach his uh, family, make sure that they're happy about it uh, as well. I agree with that, Dennis. Um, I <coughs> feel that when you're taking into account um, individuals, people that were made, you know, actually say, made a contribution to the town, I think that it's important to have the right setting for, to, to remember that person. Um, it, it's unfortunate we haven't got in front of us something more appropriate to me to be maybe in the middle of the town or in the Ruskin Road area. And what we're looking at here is a very large new road system that is the main, uh, it is generally, that is, is seen as the main road to like Middlewich, between Mountwich and Middlewich, bypassing crew and accessing the hospital. And I was think it might be appropriate, and I've heard quite a few suggestions from members of the public and uh, people involved in, you know, who have an interest in the right? that references to the hospital or also previous buildings that were there historically, like Totten's mm -hmm. Hall, rather than relating it to an individual. And I always feel myself, not that I'm sure anybody's going to name a road up to me, but shopping centre or whatever. Yeah, you long running but, the horn, wouldn't you? Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like it to be more personal to me, rather than a, a you know, a, a new Festival, new uh, main massive road, road roundabout something. Yeah. I see your point. Yeah, my yeah. Well, that's yeah. 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 Was, it's was, all it, was, it, was, that was there a hall there? It was an actual large place. building, wasn't it? Like a uh, mansion. I don't know, I lived around there. Well, Sounds I lived around there when we first got to crew and we found it. But my mother was looking somewhere to live. Mm. So, yes, um, yeah. I just got on. Well, Tommy's all the state was built for the workers in the war of the world's wars. Yes. And they were flat top concrete roofs, like like air raid shelters. And they were flats, so and that was that was a well, top top yes. so mm -hmm. is all. Yes, that was a top is all. Yeah. Sam, you know that. You know they did. Why it was named after the name yeah. after my father's time? Um, we did have a list, by the way, of names. Yeah, we did. Just we did have a list. Um, Pam mm -hmm. furnished us with a list. Mm -hmm. When Pam was on the way, yeah. that's the bear there. Um, she furnished it because a lot of them was she researched off the tide maps. Mm. So, you know, whatever those fields were called yes. at that time. We, we did get some of them named on these estates. Mm. There was other them and the tide map going back. And Adam was like, you know what I mean? Um, but I guess in response to your Mike Russell, I think Mal was the point. 
because it's irrelevant now. But I think for anything like that, you should we should get permission, as you said, from the family, even if you don't do it immediately. But there, if you want it, and someone came up, you could do it, you know, because it's very sensitive, isn't it? You know, because you might go on. But I do think it, I'd rather have Mike, who was one of the original camp. Right. Councillors, yeah. uh, like Mallory said, and, and some roads, the world will shoot down all oh, the events that go down and never call out the hospital again, don't we? <laughs> but we've, <laughs> we've already uh, got money, we've got Jim Goldie uh, in uh, off of the Badger End. Jim Goldie might have changed the Yeah, I mean, we've got so, Ken Woolley one. Ken Woolley one, so. so it's not so 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 can we, can we just put that, you know? I guess if anyone's got any, then that's come to a committee. But I think we, you know, I, I haven't got anyone, so unless I anyone. Might like that Totty's Totty's little way. Now we're still with us, so we're going Houston. What you know? Why not? We've got Houston only in London. I think we still deserve to have a good time. Yeah, we hear that always. I don't see why Totty's not in the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I'm happy to throw Totty's ball as a reference point. If someone tells me how to spell Totty's, I'm going to get it wrong. Um, I, I'm T-O-T-Y apostrophe no, not it hasn't got an apostrophe. Mr. Google says it hasn't got an apostrophe. As opposed to T-O-T-T-I-E. There was Totty's ball farm. The Beckett family ran the farm. There was a housing estate across the way named after the farm. So maybe it ought to be Totters Hall Farm. You know, um, this was knocked down in the early 1970s and then Leighton Park estate was built and Leighton Park was demolished in the late 1970s. Yeah, that's Another one, I can't remember the name, the two brothers who were killed in the First World War coming through who were on the memorial. I don't know if there's anything in crew with no dog. But if there isn't, I would I would think that that is another uh, name we can put forward. So we just thought I'll go Sorry, Sorry, Chair, can I refer you to my previous statement about yeah. it? I don't think it should be an individual's name. For the reasons I put forward. Yeah, because it's quite long. And I think it should for the opposite reason. <laughs> we've already we've already got three yes. yes. Yeah. It's very mm -hmm. relevant to the actual yes. area. Yes. Or possibly something related to the hospital. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it should be. Ambulance well. It should be. Excuse me. It should be something that's related to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And that. Yeah. I mean, so if somebody well, wants yeah. to use Totty's Hall as a name, I don't Shall we just shut Totty's Hall? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Sure. all. They need something to do with the, the NHS. Perhaps we could call it five it away. Excuse me, yeah. Chair. Point of order. We are joined here in the third. All right. Right. Yes. As, as we're in further, then currently I feel uh, directed to, um, to to reference Totty's Hall Farm yes. in their considerations. Yes. Right. Yes. That's our building consensus is built yes. so far. Yes. So. So Should we leave it? Are we only allowed to put one name for? There's, there's no regulations as far as I'm aware. No. It's three yeah. or four. No. Because we've got the president of Jim Golden, Ken Wood. Why can't they put those over that one? What's in that? My Russell. Because for the reasons I put forward, well, shall we have a vote on your reasons and my reasons? Sorry, Chair, I'm taking your. No, it's a, it, I, I, I'm trying to avoid putting it to a vote, mm -hmm. uh, which we will in a moment until the end of the meeting. There's a clearly a, a clearly difference in whether it's have got now. There is a kind of accidents for, for names of control. In fact, you know, I believe that there's somebody who's an ex-councillor that we want to put. He's not only an ex-councillor, Chair. He was a teacher, but not a teacher. 
He was a, a, a fantastic teacher, but mm -hmm. Ruskin wrote, yeah. so I've been told. Okay. I never went yeah. to the school. I think well, there was a development there at Ruskin School. Yes. I yes. pulled us up or yes. something. Yeah. There's never going to be an exam there, is there? Mm -hmm. Okay, no. well, let's try and, without, without, without us falling out, because, you know, Kurda means a bit more than yeah. we include each. Let's agree to this. I think we should, in this instance, I'll get through these good offices to, to check out this, this wife. Yeah. To put it on for future reference. Yeah. And then we can have a discussion whether that Madeline's point about no names and your point of voice about no names. But we can't say to can, we can't do that tonight anyway. No. Because obviously yeah. Yeah. and no yeah. one is quite there probably wouldn't want that. But let's not let us not get too dogmatic. No, it it no. is at the end of the end of the I think the third time Marilyn and myself have fallen out over, uh, and we still talk to her. We sort it out No, I sort it out. Right, so <laughs> I can't run anymore. Right, so we, we're, we're going to chuck in Totty's old farm or yeah. the, the, the yeah. duration yes. of that, mm -hmm. uh, which was the original land there. Yes, so, it was and, and can I ask you know, that I can uh, talk to me? You can do it, you're the chair. I would like to. Oh, we've got another meeting, haven't we? Yeah. We and I, I, the, yeah. Yeah. And I tonight, tonight, the proposed date yeah. of the next meeting, which will be the last meeting, I guess, of. Yeah. Uh, uh,